everybody sing, yeah. How y'all doing? This is Chef Charles with Everything Sweet. We are back in the kitchen and we're bringing you another fantastic dessert, okay? Today we are challenging uh, socket to me pound cake. Well, it's a phrase they used to use back in the 60s. Socket to me, baby. You don't hear it too much today. But then out of that saying came this uh, pound cake. It's really not a pound cake, it's a coffee cake. But anyway, that's what we are challenging today. And, uh, and this is what you're gonna need to get your socket to me pound cake up, up and running. You need three cups of granulated sugar. We have three cups of cake flour, six eggs. We got a cup of sour cream, a cup of butter, two sticks. You're gonna need some vanilla extract, okay? Now for your topping, we got walnuts here and we got pecans here, about a half a cup of each one. That's what we're gonna use for your topping, your topping and your filling. You need pecans, a third of a cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of uh, cinnamon, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and go to the bowl and get this oven running. We're gonna cream our butter and our sugar, okay? Y'all stay with us, don't go nowhere. Okay, our two sticks of butter are going in the bowl. I need to say, all this needs to be at room temperature, okay? You don't want to pull no butter out of the fridge. Trying to make the pound cake, it's too hard and you asking for trouble. And when you in the kitchen, the last thing you want is trouble. So make sure all your dairy products are room temperature, your sour cream, your butter. We got that in, we're gonna cream it about a minute, second gear. sugar. Uh, all at once. I'll try to get that combined before we uh, add the rest of it, okay? Alright, we're going to go to fourth gear. We're going to mix about four minutes. We'll come back straight down and put the other four minutes in. Alright, the four minutes in, we're straightening down. Now we have gonna have a one cup of butter with three cups of sugar. So that not gonna be your normal cream because you don't have enough butter to uh for the sugar contents. But you still follow the same recipe. You still have to cream it for eight minutes, okay? Alright, we four minutes in. We're gonna get our other four minutes. We come back, we read that I eat. Alright, we eat many then. Go and add our eggs one at a time. We have a chip Mix and pack and bang. Alright, we pour eggs in, we straighten down before we add the last two eggs, okay? This will be rubber stick batter, okay? 
because I just told you we actually making a coffee cake. But it's gonna be smooth and it's gonna be clean. <laughs> cup of sour cream. We're going to go ahead and put that in. For y'all new to the channel, you're in for a treat. You might not know much about bacon at this point, but keep watching. Everything's sweet, and you're going to be a master in the kitchen. Mm. Once you figure out the first process, which is creaming your butter and sugar, you ought to be able to make any kind of recipe you come across if it's a cake. Basically, the first step is creaming your butter and sugar, okay? As you do that, then you add your eggs. I'm talking about just another rocket scientist, okay? So you come across a recipe you want to make, you know from, from, from the start, cream, butter, and sugar, add the eggs. Then if you got uh, sour cream, go ahead and add that, put your flavors in. Then you come back with your cake, your cake flour, all-purpose flour, and you add that in sections with uh, cake flour and buttermilk or sweet milk, whatever you have, okay? All right, we're going to mix this entire combined. At this point, we're going to add our flavor. Tablespoon and a half, okay? This is one tablespoon here. This one and a half. Let that mix and pack them back. Yeah, baby, we ate them since there now. Only thing left, scrape down and add our cake flour. Now, baking powder and baking soda is always in our cake flour, okay? Second flour, half of what you got in the bowl. You mix that and tack combine. First gear. Alright, we're gonna scrape down. And then we add our final flour. How many y'all still going to use skin line? Listen, I can't push that enough. Stop going to that you skin line. You're not getting out no faster. I went to Atlanta the other week. You scan line, 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 line was going down the grocery aisle. Not the you scan area. I'm talking about the you scan line was going down the grocery aisle. They got you so messed up thinking that you're going to get out of there faster and quicker and you got a program in your head baby i go through you can line i'm out of here no you're not out of there you're working for free you're working without training they want you to be a cashier they want you to be a bagger and they got nerve to check your receipt when you go out the door stay out of the use can let the people do the work that was getting paid through the work go through the register what you got cashier. She gonna run the register for you. She gonna bag it for you. And she gonna smile and thank you. Okay? 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get this started before we add our final flower. Our final flower is going in now. We're gonna mix this and take a bind, and we're gonna be ready to pan up. mix our filling, sprinkle that on there, then we're going to mix out half, okay? Half is going in. Okay, move that fish you can. Got about a fourth of a cup of cons, fourth of a cup of walnuts, about a half a cup. We got a few more pecans though, okay? We're gonna go mix that up. Okay, pecans going in. Not using all of those. Just put it down. A uh, third of a cup of brown sugar. And we got. Two teaspoons of salmon. Some maybe just ate the holidays here. I don't know what it is. Take that spoon, sprinkle that around there like that. Oh, that cinnamon and toasted pecan. Yeah, you gotta toast on the pecan. I don't think I just got the pecan out of the bag. No, we toast them things about 10 minutes, 350 degrees. We did, we toasted. cinnamon, brown sugar, and then roasted pecans in that thing, baby, that's what you want. All right, take another filling. I'm trying to top this off now. Now, we ain't got about up, uh, walnuts over there. We're going to put those on top. Okay? So, you're going to have Toast the pecans inside. And you're gonna have toasted walnuts on the outside. Oh, how much. That is gonna be something good. You're gonna have all them layers, layers of flavor in just one cake. Now you don't have to use you know, walnuts. You can use all the pecans if you so desire. But you know I'm about to create a layer of flavor. I want when you bite down in this thing, Lord, I want you to say, Lord, how much? 
That's what I want you to say. When you get a slice of this with a cup of coffee, a glass of milk, you're going to bite off that chocolate to me and say, oh, it's, it's so good to me. Move that out the best you can. We got a half a teaspoon of cocoa powder. Okay. Got that to be the little extra kick. Ten minutes on it, wasn't right. Put another ten minutes on it, wasn't right. We put the final ten minutes on, it, and the tooth spit came out clean. So that's basically how you work this thing. You don't want to go ahead and put an hour and a half on it once. You don't know. Depends on how your oven is cooking. You don't have a, you know, know what your oven is cooking on. You go ahead and put an hour on there. I would have said put an hour and ten minutes on there, then come back and check it with a toothpick or a stirrer, like we got here come out clean, fine or not, and put another 10 minutes on it, okay? That's how Saka took me cake after 90 minutes. 90 minutes is simpler, I'll be 30 minutes, okay? So you do your due diligence, make sure you sh your cake come out like you want it to come out. We're gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes in the pan. Even though I let it cool 10 minutes, my wife, she just come in here and dump it. I come in here and dump it after 10 minutes, she already done dumped it. So I'm going to say at least 10 minutes, let it cool before you dump it. Then once you dump it, please set at least an hour and a half or two hours before you ice it. Let it cool completely down. Don't try to put that icing on that thing and that thing hot. Icing is just going to run off on your pan below, okay? 
So at least hour and a half, let it cool once you get it done, okay? We'll be back to finish it up. If you don't want to miss it, stay with us. It's charged with everything sweet. All right, this board, we're going to dump it now. I've been out about 10, 15 minutes. This board goes on top like this. And this is the platter we're going to put it on once we flip it over. Flip it over. Now some of your uh, toppings will fall off. No big deal. Do not get upset about that. Okay? Take this. Put it here. Then you're going to flip it again. Now them toppings that's falling off, you put them back on the cake once you ice it. Okay? Alright. Now we got these toppings. You know, we lost a couple of nuts in it. Big deal. And we lost a little bit of some sugar. Ain't no big deal. So we're going to let that cool for at least an hour and a half before we put icing on it, okay? So y'all stay with us. An hour and a half, two hours, we're going to come back and ice it. And you know what else we're going to do after we ice it. We're going to taste this, baby. Okay? Stay with us. Don't go nowhere. We'll be back like that. How y'all doing? Chef Charles back. We done dumped. We sure try to dump it. We sure try to make it. Now we finna show you how to ice it. Now you can ice it the way you want to. This is what we gonna do. We got a mesh strainer in here. We are gonna make our icing. And we are gonna pour ice in here. And we are gonna do like that. Because the reason why we are doing that, we don't wanna hide all this beauty on top. So we want that beauty to be coming out of certain cracks in the icing. So we're not going to pull the whole thing over there. Mass strainer. You just make little circles, you know? You got it? Here we go. We got a cup and a half of confectionary sugar or powder sugar, okay? We got a little vanilla extract. We're going to use a cap. That's all we need. And we got... Cereal milk. We got one full full cup. We're not gonna use it all, okay? We want this can on the still side a little bit. We do not want it too runny. Okay? We're gonna start there, mix that in and see what we got. We kinda want it on the stiff side, but we want it running, but we don't want it too runny. Doesn't make any sense. Well, if it don't make any sense, it will make sense when you see me get through with this. A little more milk in that. Now, if you add too much milk, you always can add some more powdered sugar. But I'm trying to do it where we won't have to add no more powdered sugar, okay? Get it where we can get them lumps out of it. But you know, everything don't go according to plan anytime you're in the kitchen. That's why one of the reasons I go through over and over, straight the bowl down, you know. Add your eggs one at a time. Add your flour in sections. I don't want you to have no mischief in the kitchen. There's so much other stuff going on that you can easily have a misstep. And one thing about me, I hate to start over. I don't want to start nothing over. All that product I've been used, gotta throw that out and start over. And I'm trying to keep you from getting to that point where you won't have to start over, okay? All that product you already got, got together, you want to make sure you use that product. You don't have to throw that stuff in the trash to start over again. Go about to get a little too thin, but I think we might just roll with it. But my wife's shaking her head. I know y'all can't see her. She's saying I add some more sugar to it. Okay, whatever. Y'all stay with me now. You're back. Uh, a couple teaspoons, that's all you need, not a whole lot. A couple teaspoons, and you work from there. Get it where you want it at. We start out with a couple teaspoons. We're going to mix that in and see where we at. Yes, baby, welcome to the holidays, baby. We're already working with Thanksgiving and Christmas, okay? Now, let me tell y'all something. Uh, when I met my wife, she was doing all desserts. And then she was trying to do all the cooking. 
I said, okay, I can get him somewhere now. So I told her, listen, I got dessert, you got all the rest. But we don't wait till the weekend of Thanksgiving or Christmas. You know, we go ahead and make our cakes a month ahead of time. We freeze them, put them in the freezer, wrap them tight, put them in the freezer. Because we want to enjoy the holiday just like our guests. We don't want to be in the kitchen, you know, three days before Thanksgiving, two days before Thanksgiving, trying to get stuff ready. So we go ahead and start on our pies, special our pound cakes, go ahead and wrap them up, pull them out that morning of Thanksgiving. We go ahead and ice them if some need icing on them. Pies, we go ahead and set out. Anything that can't hold 30 days, then you don't need food with it, okay? So, just re uh, remember that when you're getting your Christmas and Thanksgiving down ready. You don't have to be in the kitchen two, three days before Thanksgiving. You can go ahead and get that done. Get your, your socket tummy ready, your coconut ready, you know. Whatever kind of cake you're making, go ahead and get it ready. Month before, wrap it, put it in the freezer. Ready to go Thanksgiving, okay? Then, when I get through with all mine, then I get in the wire and get in the kitchen and help my wife. You know, that's the way you have to do it. Now, we're going to put this in the mash stringer. We're going to do like that. But we don't want to hide all that beauty on top. See all the pecans and walnuts on there? That cinnamon, the coconut, cocoa in there. You don't want to hide all that. But you still want everybody to get a little day of ice. Now. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell my wife to hold this mesh string, but uh, I guess she can't because she's been. So we're going to put it right there. Go in that mesh string like that. Watch that mesh string. Throw it coming out of that mesh string. Might need a little help. Got this strap right here. Just press on that thing. Work that thing back and forth, okay? That way you get the icing on top and it don't hide all your top and fill it. When somebody look at that, they know automatic. And that socket too. Okay? Now right, you see what I'm doing now. I'm just going back and forth. To the edge, back to the hole in the center. Nothing is about this complicated. Have you complicated part is already done. You mix the cake, you bake the cake, you dump the cake. That's the complicated part. This here is child play. I can get my little nephew to do this. You, you done completed the hard part. Okay? Alright, we're going to put some more icing in our mesh strainer. Y'all stay with us, don't go nowhere. Alright, we got the rest of our icing in here. We're just gonna go back and forth like that until we get it all. Now, for this strainer, it might be a little too stiff, but you know, you work with it, baby. You don't, you don't have no canes in the kitchen. If you ain't got some canes in, you come see me. I'm gonna take them canes away. You in the kitchen, you the boss, you run the thing. Okay, see when you're at home and you're making yourself, you can put as much filling uh, topping on your cake as you want to and as much you want on the inside. It's up to you, it's no, you know, certain amount. You don't want much uh, the filling on the inside, don't put much. You don't want much on the top, don't put much. But now when you go to the grocery store, you don't have no option. You get them little old cakes, uh, you know, little old bitty cakes. <coughs> I'm talking about they be about half the size of this one. And uh, you don't know where them cake coming from. New York, California, Chicago. You don't know where they coming from. 
You don't know how long they had them in the freezer. I freeze is pretty good, but you know, in my grocery store business, you know, we would have stuff that's in the freezer. 90 days, it got to go after 90 days, you know. That, that's three months. We leave it in the freezer in the grocery store business. If they stay there 90 days, after that 90 days, they ain't gone, then they go to the doctor, okay? We don't mob them down and down because you have to keep them in the freezer, okay? So, some kids you get in that grocery store, you know, tell them how long they've been in the freezer, baby. And you don't know what's in it. You didn't make it. All kind of preservatives in it. And stuff not healthy for you, you know. The guys that make these cakes, big company make cake, they're not concerned with your health. They on, they, they're concerned with the bottom line. When you make it yourself, you know everything in it fresh, okay? You know you're feeding your family a quality cake. Okay? So, that's why we on YouTube show you how to do this stuff. Anything you don't know how to do, just Google it. Somebody, you know, got a channel going to tell you how to do it the right way, okay? Okay, now, we're going to let that dry for just a minute. Then we're coming to the famous everything sweet taste test, baby. You do not want to miss that. Stay right where you're at. We'll be right back. All right, baby, we're cutting into it. Got a saw knife. We're going back and forth. Trying to keep our nuts and stuff on top. Somebody. Get crunch on top. Let me get a little of that. Look at the crunch there. She had it falling off there. Mm -hmm. Man, this is fantastic. Y'all hold on for a minute. I'm going to go with my grandson. He ain't been on video in quite a while because he's been in school. We normally see him in the morning time. He is school, so he's been missing out. So it's kind of late in the afternoon. Mm, about 4 o'clock here. He at home. He's not doing homework. So we're going to get him. Let him taste. See what he think about it, okay? Now, don't y'all get shot. We ain't cut his head in about two, three months. Alvin, how long since we cut it here? Yeah, about two months. Well, he won't put his daddy got. His daddy got dreadlocks. And he just had to have some dreadlocks, too. So we let him grow his hair off the dreadlocks, okay? All right. Hold on. Let me go get it. like it or you just saying it? I really like it. Well, then something happened to you yesterday, you wore six, now you what? Seven. So you must have had a what? Hmm? You had a what? Uh, a birthday? So you seven now, you ain't six no more. Well, tell them that you I'm You already told them? I told them that. Okay. I'm taking you with my birthday. I'm seven. No, seven? Seven. Yeah. I think I'm still six. I think I'm six. I don't know. Right. He's doing homework, baby. He's not here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. He's doing homework, baby. You know, he got to maintain that A average, so. So he said he's doing right in his worry, but he got a little more to do. Listen. For the holidays, Christ. Sock it to me. Pound cake. You know, we call it pound cake over here. In other place, they call it the coffee cake. But either or, it's fucking delicious. Okay? Now, we'll be back next week with another fantastic dessert. I hope y'all enjoyed the last two or three we're doing. Uh, 
strive is picking up, the likes are picking up, that letting us know we doing, you know, kind of doing the right thing here. We're teaching you, we're giving you knowledge how to fix the stuff, and we ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. But we tell you something wrong, we won't tell you nothing at all, okay? So y'all keep watching and keep sharing. We we'll definitely appreciate you. Until next week, and God bless you. We out of here.